Welcome back. Let's try this mini game or event game again, shall we? So, uh, this, I forget what, we had the name of the game up on the screen a second ago. I hope you paid more attention to that than I did. Uh, in any event, let's try the event game. So we pick a talisman card and discard whatever tiles we like to discard. Uh, how about those? <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't have chucked the nine. That's We're warming up here, all right? Oh, man. Well, we got a special hand here, don't we? That's okay. We're going to build toward the most special hand, or bust trying. Um, so, that said... I am waiting for nine mon, which I discarded earlier because I was not paying enough attention to what I'm trying to do. If I were playing a normal three player game, sure, discarding the nine mon might make sense. In this case, um, yeah, we prefer holding on to it so that we can call sumo once. And we see get 110 points times the number of Han, and another sumo, and we're off to the races. But the object is to beat the target score for the uh, level, and yeah, I cleared it with flying colors. I forget what this card does, but I'm sure we'll find out again in just a second. But we picked this card because it's blue, and blue is a nice color. So here, we get double Yakuman because we have 13 unique tiles. Um, plus a pair. So, many, many double Yakumans were scored. This allows us to uh, take further advantage of all these various things. Um... Sure, let's pick another card pack. Why not? Okay, discount everything. That's not bad. Uh, that instantly also applies to everything shown on the screen. So I've got 15 stars remaining. Let's take another talisman. Um, every 15 grants... Oh my gosh, we have two gold cards. Open tile count plus six helps us predict what's going on. After calling Khan, the Khan becomes soul tiles. Well, we're not going to call Khan on this run. But, um, interesting. Um, every 15, well, okay, we spend star coins like there's no tomorrow. So we're going to take the yellow card. And uh, how many do we have left? Eight stars under my chat window. So do I want to take more open tiles? No, let's let's get more Dora indicators. Oh, we actually have more stars remaining, so let's spend that. Um, each sequence, that's not happening. That's not happening. Reveal an extra Dora indicator after a win. That seems fun. All right, so again, the name of the game is get that 13 ended weight. Um, it would be kind of nice if there were a balanced version of the game where it weren't entirely about that. And you could play this however you want to play it. You don't have to play the winning strategy. Um, playing the winning strategy is optional. Um, Okay, so this is the one we're waiting for. Okay, Sumo. And we reveal a new Dora Indicator tile on account of this talisman that we just purchased. And there we go. We just keep scoring double Yakuman over and over and over again. Now, some people have better talisman cards, and you can score far more points than what I'm scoring. But this is just a casual run. 
I've had a better run thanks to some extremely lucky card draws. But this run's pretty good. Also, we have enhancements because we've played this game once per day. Each day, we get to start the game with more and more benefits at the beginning of the game. Here, I think I have a talisman limit of six. So, uh, I've upgraded also the quality of the talismans that'll get displayed. Um, so it's not as random as it used to be. But yeah, the better cards you get, the easier it is to play the game. Alright, so we have three common packs where we could max out tile exchanges, which probably would help us quite a bit. Although we did astoundingly well, given what we had so far. Let's draw a pack and see what's in it. Alright, no duplicate tiles in hand. That's amazing. Let's see what else we got. Breach Talisman sold. This gains points. That's not bad. Um, <laughs> plus 45 base points. Based on the number of star coins owned. That's tempting. Um, that's going to go up and down based on my number of star coins. Uh, oh, jeez. How am I going to... Like, the recycling robot sounds amazing. Yeah, let's take this. Although I don't know how to use it effectively. Because I don't want to sell any of these. But I'm kind of... I have an incentive to sell it now. Okay. After reaching Tenpai, the last drawn tile guarantees a win. Alright, so... As fun as this... Yeah, we don't actually need this. So let's take this card instead. And bulk up on exchanges. And under my chat window, I've got zero stars remaining. So let's just... Here we go. The first win is worth zero points. Alright. That's okay. We're intending to score many wins, if we're lucky, and we intend to be lucky. Uh, one, two, three, four, and this duplicate. Don't need this duplicate. That one. Okay, don't need these. Alright, so this is a duplicate. We don't need that. Um, okay, we don't need this doubled. Nine is nice. Three's not so helpful. Two's not so helpful. This is duplicated. What am I waiting on? I'm waiting on one bamboo. Which we can see... Welcome. You can see one bamboo in the top row here. So we'll just wait till we hit it. Um, there we go. Then we got this 13 ended weight. Let me draw any of these terminals or honor tiles. And declare sumo. And the first win is worth zero points on this phase, but the next win should be worth something. There's a win. 12,000 points. And we click to continue, and then the game animates the rest for us. Hmm. I think that having so many tiles displayed at, um... What was it? This shows the first six tiles or something, or I forget what this stamp card does. I'm afraid to start clicking because this might break something. Okay, but yeah, we score points. Yeah, 25 stars. So what's this one again? 
open tile count plus six. Makes it a lot easier to plan forward in the event that something goes horribly wrong. But we're planning on being lucky. Um, I mean, that that does provide a lot of comfort. Um, oh, this thing. When winning, for each Dora or Soul Tile, get plus one star coin. Um, that eventually is going to pay off uh, handsomely. So, let's check what's in this blue pack first. <laughs> uh, that's a fun one. Because um, doubling the number of star coins is pretty cool. Um. All right, we have to sell one first. Okay, we don't actually need this many open tiles. There are other cards that that or talismans that that would pair excellently with, but we don't have any of those. Okay, so this um multiplies that by three. That's pretty cool. Do I get rid of the Recycler at this point? Like, yeah, this does increase the base score by 60, and that's going to continue increasing, whereas my Han Multiplier won't. But um, we're probably going to get something fantastic here. Let's see what we get. Oh, an upgrade. Okay. After reaching Tenpai, oh, under the sea, and grants initial plus one Han. Sure. Um, that's cool. Alright, and then I have 21 stars remaining. Um, uh, let's increase this. 2, 4, 6, 8. So I can easily plan my next victory. Um... And that's an effect that will continue throughout the game. There we go. Uh, get a duplicate here. Okay, we could we need the one mon. That's not a one mon. That's not a one mon. Where is the one mon? That's not it. Nope. I mean, we see one in the second row, which is quite comforting. Um, Alright, 13 sided weight. And now we just need to draw any winning tile. Any winning tile. There we go. Boom. 500 points times 28. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wonder at what point I sell VIP. Probably not yet. I still need to upgrade many things first. But, yeah, after I get tired of upgrading things, um, we could sell VIP and be able to purchase better talismans. So I guess the next thing to upgrade is the number of Dora indicators. Although, that's just going to increase my winning by one Han per hand, and that's... It's not much. Okay, so how many stars do I have? 43. Um, these cards probably aren't what I'm looking for. Let's try refresh once, just for the fun of it. Okay, and then this. Does this have anything good in it? Oh, alright. PT multiplied by 5. We'll take that. Um, let's... Add some Dora indicators. And I assume I'm out of stars. I got six. Uh, it's probably not even worth spending them at this point. 
Yes, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The other fun bit is that the more tiles I exchange, the easier, hopefully, it's going to be to get the tiles I need out of what remains in the, uh, the pool here. Because I'm burning through all these middle tiles. Um, so the more middle tiles I exchange, the greater ratio of non-middle tiles that should be remaining. Okay. Uh, would help, however. And I'm taking some pretty wild chances. It does help to draw the right tiles. That cannot be denied. Okay, so now next tile I need is the red dragon, which we can see right there. There we go. And we automatically declare sumo. And that's... this is nothing... You should see what the records are on this website in terms of high scores. It's in a completely different league. And then some. But this is just a sample gameplay. Oh right, and I have a card that says the last tile wins. If I'm in Tempai. Which I am. All the time. Alright, next. 59 stars. <sighs> I think I'm going to take the orange pack and then sell the Under the River Tempai card. Um, so that I can get more exchanges with the remaining star. So, flower on the peak after reaching Tempai. Calling... Okay. Wait, no, okay, this sounds good. Um, that's funny, this throws off my game. Um, so I thought I'd be able to take more tile exchanges, but to do that I'd have to sell something. I'm not currently in a great position to sell something. Um, plus one star coin would be awesome. Um... Yeah, I guess let's try to max this out. Open tiles is not really going to help us. Okay, we have 29 stars remaining. I mean, I might as well upgrade this anyway. Okay, so I still have some stars remaining, I guess. Do I? Or do I keep saving so I can upgrade something next time? Let's upgrade something next time. Um, oh, the target here is multiplied by 3, so normally it'd be 3,600. This time I need 10,000 points. No problem. Hopefully. One. It would be nice to be able to script this if the terms of service would just let you play the game as you want. It's not that I'm seeking any kind of reward from playing the game well, other than just the entertainment value of playing the game. But it'd be fun to have a script to automate gameplay and see what the see how to do micro optimizations of decisions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last tile I need is 9 mon. So just wait for it. There it is. And there's Sumo. Does this score 10,000 points? It does. So I win the level, and then the game automates the remaining scoring.
And then we know we're also going to win on the final tile because we have that Under the River card. But compared, like, there are other good cards, other good talismans out there. And by selling cards, no matter what they are, um, this recycler improves. So that's how I'm boosting my base score. There's also some card that increases the Han count to some ridiculous number. And I just haven't had the fortune to draw that yet. Pardon me. There we go. Let's see, a doggy's treasure <laughs> scored more than the level and scored more than the 500% point total gold reward. Doggy's treasure is doing some wonders for us here. This guy over here. Um, Alright, do we have 50 stars? We do. So... I should purchase more tile exchanges. Let's purchase this pack. When winning, the Dora indicator are also... The indicator tiles are also considered Dora. Well, this is going to have to go, <laughs> I think. I have to discard something. It's not going to be this one, right? Yeah, we... When winning... For each Dora or Soul Tile, get a star coin. Well, if we get more Dora Tiles, um, then yeah, that changes things. So this has got to go. We need as many star coins as we can get, because that's what helps us fuel this economy. Um, let's get another Dora Indicator out there, and under my chat window, I have 13 stars remaining. Let's go. 5,000 is the goal for this level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sell those. Discard these. Discard these. Oh, I am in Tenpai. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go. So getting ten pi earlier means more wins um, per level, and we met the point goal. So let's just keep scoring more points. I'll be back. I get my gotta refill my water here. I have returned. Did you miss me? <laughs> so yeah, this uh, scoring phase takes a second. Which is, again, if you could script all this and not have to sit and wait through it, um, that too would have some interest. Or generate some interest. Anyway. Yeah, we have a base score that's getting close to a thousand points. Although we no longer are guaranteed to win on the final tile. But that's okay. Um, oh. Alright, so I could spend five stars to refresh this. Uh, or I could just grab the blue one. What's in the blue pack? Let's find out. Oh man. Well, <laughs> we have a card that gives us an advantage for discarding stuff, but I don't think that's good enough. I don't think that's anywhere near close to good enough. 
Um, well, but I get advantage for discarding stuff. Uh, I haven't actually seen this give me anything. So, this says get plus one star coin, but I have not seen Heaven's Bequest shown in the post-level summary. We're going to sell this. Um, and then purchase another Dora Indicator. And I've got eight stars remaining, which is not enough to do anything. Um, I could open both packs. It's possible they're... I mean, this is not super useful here. So let's open some packs and see what we get. Um, all simples. If we don't have Mon and Honor tiles, we get plus one Han. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we'll sell the Underground Expedition. Take minimum security. And then... Probably sell minimum security, take some... Oh, okay. Just kidding. Maybe. Each time you exchange has <laughs> minus... Yeah, that's not super interesting. Oh, well, this is interesting, though. 100 points. That's not bad. Well, the chance card here... Whatever. We're going to continue to spend all our star coins, so... Yeah, that should pay off. Hopefully. We'll get a chance to see how it works. And if it doesn't work how we want, we'll discard it. Okay, the last one we're waiting on is north. That's not north. Nope. 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 Mm -hmm. Come on, north. Any time now. On the bright side, if I do lose this, I don't have to keep speaking. And we can just end the video if I lose it. It's not for lack of effort, either. Alright. So having so many face-up tiles allows us... Um, allows me to feel assured that I'm going to win. I mean, if by the time I get to the last face-up honor or terminal tile... Um, and... I still don't have the north. At that point, I do take the, that dragon, and I have a pair of dragons, and I pray that the last tiles will be the north wind. But it did not come to that, so... Easy. Now, it's quite possible that by discarding that Heaven's Bequest, or by selling it, Talisman, um, I might be in some trouble. But this wasn't the god run anyway. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's open up... Wait, how many do I have? I have 44. Okay. Do I want the tail? Uh, let's try it. Battery. The battery is a really nice one. I think it's nicer than minimum security here. So, yeah, let's take battery. Again, that powers up our recycler, so now it's worth plus 260. And, yeah, we'll boost that. Move on to the next level. <laughs> However, here we are limited to three open tiles, because this level has that rule. Um, yeah, they do something to try to 
ensure you don't play the same strategy every level. But I'm either getting lucky enough or they're just not putting enough measures in place. Okay. One, two, three. I keep drawing duplicate tiles. That's not helpful. Okay, I got a duplicate west. Wait, am I missing just one? If I'm missing just one, I need to be careful not to accidentally land into Tenpai with the wrong tiles here. So I'm waiting on one pin. So we'll discard anything that's not one pin. Because if I get into Tenpai, then I have to... Um, if I want the 13-sided weight, I can't get into Tenpai a different way first. This game won't let you skip sumo. Okay, we're in trouble. That's fine. Is there a one pin here? <laughs> okay. I think we've hit the limit, so we'll just try our best at this point. And one pin? That's not one pin. The run has ended. That's what I get for selling the card that guarantees a win on the final tile. Anyway, this just gives you an idea of how to play the game. Hope you enjoyed watching. And we'll see you next time.